Needing some more information on the ASU uh, FT5D radio? Well, stick around. I've got some for you. Hi, I'm Steve, K4SRF, and thank you for joining me on this segment of exploring the Yesu FT5D radio. Welcome to this segment of a series of videos that I am doing on the Yesu FT5D radio. This is going to be covering the basic operations of the radio itself, the, the nuts and bolts just to get you started. So stick around to the end of the video. I'm sure you're going to find some information that's going to be useful to you. So let's go ahead and start exploring the Yaesu FT5D. Basic setup for this uh, radio, and this is really going to be down, down and dirty basic, is the on and off uh, button to turn the transceiver off and how to enter your, uh, your uh, call sign. Now when you first boot this uh, radio up in, from the factory mode, you're going to be prompted to enter your call sign at that point. Uh, this is another way to do it, so let's go ahead and cover both of these here. I'm just going to show you how to change the call sign, and then I'll show you how to turn the radio on and off. Basic operation, like I said. First thing, to change the call sign, the, you press and hold down the function menu key right here until you get to your secondary menu. Secondary menu gives you several other options. We're looking for call sign down here uh, in the lower right hand screen. Just press and that'll take you to this other screen, this next screen. It's your alphanumeric input screen. And using the keys here, uh, either the, this key will erase a mistake, you can go forward or backwards. You just enter your call sign at this point. When you're happy with it, just go ahead and press your PTT button. That'll take you back to the main screen. Okay, now to turn the radio off, here's the power button right here. And it's also got another function which will lock the screen. We'll talk about that later. Just press your power button, hold it in, radio goes off. Turn the radio back on, press until it makes a little beep sound, goes to the splash screen, and you're back to where you left off previously. Okay, next we're going to be discussing the volume level, how to control the volume level on this radio. Again, basic operation. Uh, it is controlled by this knob down here. As, as, when it comes from the factory, this is the knob that re, uh, controls the volume itself. This changes your channel. Now the knob and the dial, or the dial and the knob that is, can be, the functions can be reversed and we'll discuss that later on. But when it comes from the factory, the lower dial is what controls the volume. Uh, to check your volume, uh, what you can do is your monitor key. You've got your monitor key right here. Uh, I would just go ahead and press down the monitor key. It opens up the scuff. Adjust the volume. As you can see, turning it down, turns it up. That's one of the ways you can uh, adjust the volume and check the volume uh, of your operation of this radio here. Okay, let's look at the squelch function here. Uh, as you can see, the volume is and the uh, display is listed right here. Your squelch button is right above the power button. It's located right here. That's your squelch button. Uh, what you do is you press the squelch button once, and you'll see that the volume button changes to squelch. And when it does, you can adjust the volume. It goes right back to volume. It'll, it'll bump back to volume. So go ahead and press your squelch button, keep it pressed in, change your, change your volume to where you want on your squelch, your squelch level itself. Uh, you can release the key, it'll switch back to volume. Let's see, just switch right back to volume. So squelch does not stay uh, active when you release that button. It will switch back by default to uh, volume. So that's how to take care of your squelch level for each, each individual band or in frequency you can chest, uh, adjust accordingly. So that's uh, the easiest way and the uh, best way to do that. Let's look now at your band operation and normally uh, what you have is band A and band B here and that's what by default it comes up to on this radio. You have your band A and band B and to, to change uh, 
what band you want to focus on, you can see the band that's highlighted, in this case 443850 is highlighted. To change, you just uh, press your A and B button, uh, press and release, and that will take you, that will swap you into the upper band. It'll swap, it'll toggle back and forth between band A and band B, and whatever band is highlighted, like I said, is your operational band that you're working on. Now, if you're, uh, if you don't prefer to have the two bands listed, if you want to just do a mono band, a single band, press and hold your AB button down once. And hold it and there you go. You have your single band operation. Now, if you want to switch bands, you have band A and band B still in here. Technically, there's no eliminating that. But if you want to switch from band A to band B but in mono band, just press and uh, release. There's 443-850. Now it was band B. Now it's set up as a mono band. Back to band A. And that's how you switch from dual band to mono band and how to select your frequencies between the two bands when it's in mono band. Now if you want to get back to dual band operations, press and hold your AB button again. That brings you right back to the dual band uh, display on your radio. Okay, now if you want to change the bands on your uh, radio, and this works in both the A band and the B band, uh, if you want to change where you see, I'm looking at B band here, uh, you can see in the upper left hand corner where it says all that means that uh, the VHF, UHF, and all other frequency bands are on. Anything that I've got programmed that's in that band is on uh, this uh, band B here, and I can get to them. But if I just wanted to display just VHF, or maybe just UHF, or just all the other bands, like the air band, or the AM bands, or HF bands, uh, all I have to do is press the band button right here. And doing that, if you'll notice, in the upper left-hand corner, it's now changed to VHF, and it's flashing. Changing it again. Now it says UHF, and you notice that the frequencies have actually changed. These are bands that I haven't, uh, the frequencies are in that band on my radio. Uh, and next will be other, and this is a one and, one and a quarter meter uh, 220 uh, band right here. If I had any uh, other bands such as uh, uh, air bands or AM or HF, that would show up here if I move the dial. Uh, it just goes in a complete loop goes back to all again. So basically that's how you change the bands that you want to be want to have pulled up on your radio. And again it works in both the uh, A band, H band and the B band as well. Okay to tune a frequency on your radio you can use either the dial knob or the numeric keypad that's in the, on your display here. Uh, first off if you have channels already in here that are in memory whenever you change the frequency using the dial knob in this case I have frequencies in here already saved if I use the dial knob it'll just change to whatever frequency is next in on the channel you know whatever uh, frequency I have set up here so to do this in VHF uh, I'm sorry not in uh, VFO mode press your button down here your V and M which stands for VFO or memory Press that button once until you get into VFO. It'll say VFO up here on the uh, upper left hand screen. Now I'm in VFO. Now to change this frequency right here, and it does it in quarter steps, as you can see it'll change as I push the dial. Now another way to do this is to actually press and get to the numeric keypad. So just press your frequency that you want to change, be the highlighted one. And you come up to this uh, numeric keypad input here, and so just manually put in a, a, a frequency. In this case, I'm just going to put in 118600, which is to our control tower, one of our radio frequencies in our control tower at the airport, and that takes you right to that frequency itself. You want to change to another one? Press and hold down again. Let's say 146. Uh, 40, I just put in the wrong one, but back it out, 146.76. Okay, you can just select that, hit hit your ENT key, that'll take you right to this net frequency. Uh, another trick you can do here is if you want to put in an even number, let's say you just, just pick one, 443. Press, you uh, get to your numeric keypad. 
four four. I'm using this as an example. All you have to do is type in four four three, hit your enter key, and it'll take you right to that frequency. So that's how to go ahead and uh, select your frequency from both the dial and the numeric keypad. Again, if you're in, if you've got frequencies in memory, uh, you've got to go. If you want to select something out of memory, you have to go into the VFO mode. To get back into memory mode, if you're in VF mo oh, VFO mode, press your V slash M button again, and that'll take you right back to the memory. And that'll take you, take you back to the channel you were on before you uh, went to VFO. Okay, let's now talk about the frequency step. And by frequency step, I mean when you're selecting a channel. Uh, the default setting is 5 kilohertz, uh, and that's pretty close to where you're going to be on all frequencies, but you may need to change that from time to time. Uh, to change that, it's what you need to do is just go into press your uh, function menu key, the F key, press and hold it until you come to your secondary menu, the configuration menu. Uh, look for, in this case it's already highlighted in red, your configuration button, config button there, just press that. Uh, go down to, and I've already gone to it, but if you use your dial, you can go through all the different menu options here. In this case, we're looking for number 18, which is step. Yeah, I just went too far. There we go, we're back on step. All right, that's uh, number 18 in your menu. Press it on the screen. And that'll take you to the step menu. And using your dial again, you can change this. It's, it's set to 5 kilohertz here. You can change 6.5 kilohertz all the way around to 50, 100, back to auto. Auto On auto, the uh, radio will select the best step for the frequency you're on. The default setting, though, is at 5 kilohertz, which seems to be adequate in most cases. It uh, depends on where you're at and uh, what frequency you have and what, if they have something set up special. So I'd recommend leaving it at 5 or auto. Uh, in this case, I've just left mine at 5. And that's to get out of this after you've made a change. Let's say you want to change that to, let's say it was in 6.25 and I want to change it back to 5, change it back to 5 to get out of that. All you do is hit your PTT key right here. And that takes you right back, that saves your change, locks it into place, and gets you back to your main screen. The next function I'm going to be discussing is the AMS function, which uh, AMS stands for Automatic Mode Select. Uh, this is where it's a function that automatically selects a communication mode corresponding to the received signal. Now we'll be discussing this particular button right here and the, no, this particular one right here. Uh, to change uh, the mode, you press the mode here. I want you to take a look at right up here in band A. Right now you'll see in the upper right hand corner uh, it says digital. It's DN, digital node or mode, DM. Uh, and if you press it again, it goes to FM mode and back to digital. And over here you'll see, watch, watch this TX right here. It goes to auto. Now, what we can do in this case is press TX auto and that'll auto, automatically take it from the auto mode where it'll automatically select what mode it should be in to FM, TX FM, or TX digital node. Now, okay, that's the digital mode right there. Back to auto. Now, in the uh, case where, let's go down to the band B here, if you press mode again, take a look at the, up here in the upper right hand corner where it says FM, goes back to digital, back to digital again with a bar, you'll see a little bar, and back and forth. Anytime you have a little bar over the, uh, over the FM or digital, that means that the, um, AMS function is actually in or on, turned on, and the radio itself will determine what particular mode it should be in for whatever uh, frequency you happen to be monitoring at the time. To expand on what I've just spoken about, you can fix your communication mode by using this mode button as well. Uh, you have four different, I'm sorry, five different 
uh, options here. You have your DN, which is your voice data mode. Uh, you have your uh, VW, which is the voice full rate uh, mode. Your FM mode, your AM mode, and your uh, high speed communication mode. All can be uh, accomplished by using the mode button here. Okay, let's go back to the basics here about transmission. And to transmit on a frequency, you press your PTT button right here. And by doing so, when you press the PTT button, Kilo 4 Sierra Romeo Foxtrot testing, clear. Your LED will glow red on what uh, band you're on. K4SRF, testing, clear. As you can see, A and B band. Whatever band you're on, that LED will glow uh, red when you're transmitting. Now, when you receive analog, uh, the, depending on your, uh, what band you're on, if you're receiving analog, the LED will grow green, glow green. But if you happen to receive something uh, that's in digital mode, uh, the LED will glow blue. So your three colors again, transmitting A and B will be red, receiving analog A or B again will be green, receiving digital A or B will be blue. Next on the agenda is our transmit power level. Factory default sets it at high, which is uh, 5 watts, but if you want to change your power level for transmit, and this will go across all the uh, bands and frequencies, to get to that screen, uh, press your function menu key right here once, come up to the function menu screen, and look for the TX power button, which is in the upper left hand corner here on, the, on your front screen. If you don't see it, you may be in the back screen, so if you don't see your function, uh, I mean your TX power, go ahead and click back key till you get to see it, and it's in the upper left hand corner. Go ahead and press that. That will take you to the transmit power screen, which right now is showing on high. Again, high is 5 watts. To change that, just use your dial, uh, dial I'm sorry, your dial, to uh, change whatever you want to, whatever level you want to change it to. High again is 5 watts. Low 1 is uh, 0 0.1 tenth of a watt. Low 2 is 1 watt. Low 3 is 2.5 watts. And then back to high, which is 5 watts. To get out of this screen, simply press your PTT button. That saves your changes and takes you back to the main screen. And that's how you change your transmit power level. Now obviously you don't want to have this uh, radio on your belt clip and want to reach around and grab it and accidentally change your frequency or make any changes that you didn't plan on making on the radio itself. So there is a way you can lock and unlock uh, your keyboard, uh, your screen, and your dials as well so you can't change anything with those as well. A simple maneuver, just take your power key and press once. Just press and release and you'll see the lock, I, know, I hope you saw that there, it popped up on the screen. And therefore you can't access the screen, it says locked. Your PTT, K4SF test, clear. PTT still works, so there's no problem, you can transmit with the screen locked. Your dials are locked, so you can't make any changes at all. To unlock the screen and the keyboard and, my, and all the buttons and everything, Press and release your power button again. It says unlocked. And now you're back to where you were and you can make changes as you wish. And that's how to lock and unlock the screen and uh, uh, knobs and dials. These are just but a few of the basic operations of the ASU FT5D. There are many more features and functions this radio has to offer. And in future videos, I plan on covering these different features and options. Now, with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and click that bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Some of those will be on the FTD5 radio and other products and as far as anything else ham radio related. Well, again, thanks for watching. I'm Steve, K4SRF73, and we'll see you on the air.